We are, are he, on. Eh? <laughs> hey, <laughs> and we are. Hi guys, my name is Tara Bok, your one and only queen on Genius Drama Club. And hi, my name is Peli Nampanga and I do play the role of Nambi on the semi-series. And, and we, we are here on the set of Young Yuga Wood with Satisfaction Yuji. So Tara, do you remember the very moment you decided you were going to be an actor? I think the first moment I decided I liked acting was the first time I watched the first episode of Bobby and the Dreamhouse Adventures. The old one, the one where like there were dolls. Yeah. So when I told my mom, she said I would have to turn it to plastic <laughs> first. But then she told me that like the only way for it to come true is if I actually started acting as in real, real acting. Mm -hmm. So yeah. yeah How about right. you? I think the first time I decided I wanted to be an actor was, I think I was around 13 years old in high mm -hmm. school. I think mm -hmm. that was my mm, senior one. And they gave me this role in a, you know, a play. And I did it so well. And everyone was like, oh, she's so sweet. She's so adorable. You can be a good actor. And I was like, oh, okay. Wow. Okay. Even they do my career, but I already knew in, in theater. Right? Like, wow. <laughs> I wish I was you. <laughs> but you are me. Mm, yeah. Somehow. Yeah, the somehow. younger version. Yeah. <laughs> so, which Ugandan actors or filmmakers inspire you? Um... It's a number of them. Everyone is so good in this industry. Everyone is talented. But if I'm to choose like one or two, I would go with um, Nana Kaga because she's she's everything. She's yeah. a director, a writer, producer, everything. Mm -hmm. and How famous Afro. Right? Yes. She has the, <laughs> she has that look. Everyone, when you see her, you know, oh, that's Nana. Yeah. And uh, the second person would be Cleopatra Kohe, and I've worked with her. So I I was also so glad I had the honor of working with her in Genius Drama Club. As, as for me, I would say the main person, I love all of them because they're all legends, but I would say Miss Mariam Dagil because like, she has been the trailblazer. She's like the mother of it all. Like, you can't really get <laughs> yeah. without her. Yeah. yeah. Um, have you faced any pushback about this career choice from your family or friends? The main pushback that I have faced is with myself. Like, I would say the biggest thing was getting out of my comfort zone to play roles that I didn't really like. Like my first role was a movie called Girl of Tears mm -hmm. and I was like some stepdad, stepdaughter and I had to cry on spot and I didn't know how to do that so I had to yawn and yeah. yawn so <laughs> and it was really weird because How did that work out? Yawning? It wasn't working so like we stayed there and the director was like okay action and I was just yawning and he was like say character on set and I was like okay and then you'd feel pressured. Yeah, but over time, at least I got used to it, and at least I got more comfortable being on the screen. So, yeah. Um, I, um, personally, I have not faced many pushbacks, but there was one major pushback that I faced. Mm -hmm. Because when I started acting, I started as a theatre actress, mm -hmm. and it was going well, but then after some period of time, you find that you, are, you feel like you're stuck in one place. Yeah. So I, I was like, uh-uh. I don't feel like I'm growing, I'm not moving any forward. So I took a break and then decided to, you know, come back Never bigger and better, yeah. right? <laughs> so what's your dream role in any series or any movie? Um, oh my god, I love it. I love all the roles. But I think I would do a very, you know, those pretty but dark, uh -huh, dark feminine energy. Yes, you dark feminine energy, but then when people look at you, they can't tell. So the secret mafia boss. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Girl boss. <laughs> you got it. For me, I would want, you know, like mean girls, mm -hmm. I would want to be, I don't know the name of the mean one, but I would want to be like in a movie that showcases the mean and I would want to be part of the mean girls group. I think but, like, like the leader. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's what you I'm know, like, say, like on Wednesdays, we wear pink. Right? And then you have your little minions. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, one minion exactly. Too. <laughs> I don't want to do that. Like, I feel like, but I'm not, I'm not like that to really, but I just, I just like acting like that. Yeah. yeah. I, think, I think that would be cute. For <laughs> real. <laughs> Oh god. Oh, so Tara, what do you hope for most to come out of your acting career? Any milestones you hope to hit? I don't have any milestones because I started acting because I loved it. Mm -hmm. So I continue doing it because I love it. I think the main thing that I want to do through my acting is to be able to tell stories of people who I haven't met mm -hmm. or to be able to showcase and tell the world that someone is going through this and this and raise awareness for certain things mm -hmm. because acting is a very important role and it tells stories of very many people so yeah. I want in the movies that I act in the roles that I play I want to be able to like change the world in some way or to like make it better that's sweet coming from a young you oh my <laughs> goodness 
Um, okay, I'm going to keep it very brief for me. My milestone is, you know, seeing myself on Netflix, yeah. Hollywood. Yeah, I think that's, that's like everyone's dream. Yeah, yeah, even yeah, the yeah. Oscars. Yeah, yeah, that one. So, what makes you proud to be a Ugandan? I just feel like, because first of all, when you're a Ugandan and you haven't traveled, you feel like, this is such a bad country, why yeah. am I in Uganda? But then when you travel outside and then you see how other people are living, you're like, uh uh-uh. uh, in Uganda, this wouldn't be happening. In Uganda, you get. I'm always trying to compare Uganda to other countries, and I feel like. Uganda is so much better. We are we are very peaceful. We are happy people. We get to do whatever we want to do. But yeah, I think me, that's why. I love Uganda because of its food and its people and the things we do and the things we say and how we show love. Yeah, I feel like Ugandans in general are my favorite type of people. Yeah. Even though I'm a Ugandan. Yeah. So, yeah, we are very welcome. Exactly, and our country is beautiful. Thank you. Exactly. Thank you. Yeah. And even our traditional wear. Look at us. And look, this is not it. This is just like look so gorgeous. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, if you could go into the future, what would you ask your forty-year-old self? I would ask my forty-year-old self, the forty-year-old Tara. Mm-hmm. I'd ask her what is the most important life lesson she has learned from all these forty years. Cause me, as me, the most important life lesson I've learned is never to forget who you are or to get confused with other people because as actors and actresses we tend to compare ourselves to others or lose ourselves in the characters that we do and most of the times i had to like have my mom to remind me that you're not this character you are tyra so i think that's a very important thing okay like to stay true to yourself i'm so so glad you're so you're so intellect you make so thank smart you. Thank for a child. You are very, you. very smart. <laughs> um, what I would ask my 40 year old self? She's coming soon anyway. <laughs> <laughs> are you still an actor? Are you still happy being an actor? Yeah. Are you happy where you are? Do you think you have ticked most of your boxes? Yeah, yeah I think that's it. Yeah. <laughs> One last question. Mm. Thoughts on the future film in Uganda? Okay, like future film in Uganda is growing because first of all, we do put in a lot into it. We do work hard for it. And I think um, Uganda is broadening its audiences. It's mm. bringing a lot of people like the Icon Awards yeah. and the Uganda Film Festival have really taken the Ugandan acting places. Yeah, okay. And also our Ugandan writers, they're really doing amazing jobs. Yeah. And they don't forget to keep the Ugandan in the movies. In the, the movies, scene. yes. You already, you already see an element of Uganda. Yeah. yeah. We are not trying so hard to be like the Western exactly. world. It's still Ugandan. And I feel like that's a good thing. We are really doing great. The producers are doing great. Everyone is doing great. Yeah. And that was it. Thank you for watching.